Hey guys, Big J saying here, back with Game Dev Tycoon Part 2, I guess, version 2, I guess, I don't know. Uh, we just left off, we just researched a few things for game, uh, we just researched creating our own custom game engine. We're going to develop one more game and then we're going to go ahead and customize our own engine. Um, you know what, let's go to Space RPG platform. I don't know if RPG works with T. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead. Ah, oh, 8,000. That sucks. Okay, what should we call this? How about infinite void? How about infinite this? This. 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 Uh, there we go. Good enough. Um, to be graphics, yes. Let's see. Uh, RPG doesn't need that much. Um, because the last game we did was an RPG also. But I don't know if space RPG would work. Um, no, the dialogue is always down on RPG. It's the same thing. Um, that's what. What was the last game we did? It was the last ride. It was something. Oh, Empire Fall. That was just straight out action. RPG, I guess, um, good. So. But it's basically the same thing. There's not much dialogue in the RPG, and there's not many, uh, food dialogues going Oh my god, look at that line of technology. No, no upgrades on either one. No new record either. That's horrible. New topic, new combo. That's right. Good. Gameplay level up. Level design level up. Artificial intelligence. Work design. Graphic. And I even leveled up. Awesome. Game tutorials. New research. Okay, let's go ahead and develop a new game. Look. Uh, first reviews for a new release game. Infinite and this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it was the horrible. Too disappointing. A one? You got a one. Don't buy. Okay, we screwed up on that one. That's just not a very good mixture. Not a very good combo at all. This is a complete flop of the game. We've lost a lot of money in this game. Yeah, we uh, kind of screwed ourselves. That, whoa. Look at those sales. They are ridiculously low. Three less than four thousand units in four months. Wow. Horrible, 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 and horrible. The recently released PS home console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. But apparently not based on PTAs. As one care of customer says, I love the games that come with the PS, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. I can't believe we actually did that. That is completely horrible. I just cannot believe that. It's, it's completely horrible. <laughs> it was out for what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight months and less than. Less than 6,000 sales, but barely reaching 6,000 by 9 months. Yeah, I think we're losing fans with this for the game. <sighs> Infinite Fist is now off the market. It sold 5,916 units, generating 41,000 in sales. That was disgusting. Oh, God, 1.5. That is by far the lowest one, and I, I feel ashamed. I feel so ashamed. Our post, <laughs> yeah, I know that now. Our post analysis of Infinite Abyss is complete. Space and RPG is a terrible combination. Thanks for telling me now. And he seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform genre, PS and RPG. Okay. 
we cannot do that we can't we don't have enough to create a custom image so let's go ahead and go with the game that works um uh, i can't do it i can't do it um superheroes and adventure maybe that can do something and RPG is good on this one. Where should I put it? Should I go with the G64 or should I go with the TX? I haven't tried Adventure on either one so far. Uh, let's go with the TX since it's brand new out. And what should we call this one? Um, the last superhero one we did was Empire's Fall. Let's see. Can we do it like another version? Empire's Fall. Oh, that's the. Yeah, I did that backwards. Eh. Empire's Fall. I can't type. Hmm. Empire's Fall. Search for. No. Empire's Fall. Hmm. Rebirth. There we go. Cost forty thousand, which means we're going to go in the negative. So, which I'm hoping, I'm hoping we won't, we won't go bankrupt. We'll probably have a problem from the bank. Uh, your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to fifty thousand dollars. But be careful if your account balance is low, fifty thousand, you will go bankrupt. Okay, we're at negative 22. Um, adventure, we need story and quests. Engine's down, I guess, in this one. Because I don't know. I would assume Adventure needs story and quests. Recent studies suggest that increasing the variety of games, gaming devices, also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus the games on specific age groups to rely to really make an impact. To really or die on make an impact. Uh, adventure, I'm gonna put dialogues uh, there on uh, artificial intelligence all I need is yeah. Okay, new research target argument. Okay, dialogue, blue line. I hope that it is in there. Engine reminder, don't forget creating custom aim, custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your own custom engine yet. Yeah, I don't have enough money to create my own engine, so it's not gonna happen on this. I'm negative thirty thousand in debt or overdrawn in my bank account, so I need a savior. Adventure, let's put that up there. Um, hopefully this will save us. I'm really hoping this will save us. Following the massive success, success, uh, massive success of the TS console, there are now rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Finish. Wow. No records on either one of them. Well, the sun's off a little bit. And we'll just go ahead and finish. Negative 43,000. No records. And, yeah. Ooh, stories, requests, and dialogues have leveled up. Oh, sound leveled up. And I get a little bit. Let's see what happens. New research model sound. We see that you're in a financial year. We see that you are in financial difficulties. Since you just released your latest game, Empire's Fall Rebirth, we are willing to offer you a mini credit to get you over the, this month payment. We will give you six, 66000 to cover your costs and expect the full amount. Expect to be paid the full amount plus a small admission fee of 25000 in two months' time. I have to take it because I have to get enough money to repay them in two months. 
Oh my god, I'm no swamp. Yeah, I think we're gonna go bankrupt. Yeah, we might just go bankrupt in this one. A death mall. Disappointing. Waste of time. Damn it. Yeah, we ain't got enough money. We're gonna go bankrupt. What? What? Go bankrupt. What? What? Today, Vina has confirmed recent rumors on our new gaming console. Announced the Master V. The company claims the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TS by Nintendo. It plans to release it in the coming months. And we suck at sales. Cause, yeah. Okay, we we're just gonna barely cover the cost of the actual bet. Yeah. We need at least to get up to 90,000. Oh my god. The amount of nine, negative 91. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. We still suck, but we need to do some contract work, like, big time. Just to level us out to, to, to actually in the green. Empire's Forward Bird is now off the market. It sold 10,000 units. 74,000 units. Okay. Generated game reports. This is horrible, horrible, horrible game, apparently. I think we, next time we should just go with the Galvador 64. Superheroes and Adventures are a terrible combination. Screw you. Gameplay seems to be not very important for some. Why won't the gameplay be? Um, platform genre makes TS adventure bad. Okay, well, screw you then, TS. Um, this should be pretty good. Today, the new game platform Master V by Vina has been released. No, don't just sit there, dude. No, thank you. Oh, no, 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 come on, we have six more of those fucking bubbles to take care The recently released gaming console Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but in that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Yeah, I'm gonna fail this one. Contract failed. Oh, God, we had to pay them $7,000. Ugh. Oh, here we go. At least we get some money. And you know what? We're just flat out screwed. Oh, 15,000 is awesome. Um, best that we can do is just to try to do, to try to do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this done time. Oh, this is horrible. Horrible. 9,000. 50,000. 50.4 thousand in debt. Bank offer. Oh my god, are you serious? Ah. Okay, uh, it seems that you have some serious financial difficulties. The company is about to go bankrupt. After careful consideration, we decide to offer you a deal. We will give you 87,000, which should move you out of the bank soon. But in return, you have to commit. Oh, so double in a year's time. Just to not go bankrupt, let's do this shit. And then we're gonna go ahead and. Yeah, okay, not do contract work. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do custom engine. Boom, boom, boom. Oh god, no, that's gonna kill us. Okay, um, develop a new game. I thought we had already. I thought we already did one. Did I not do one for Empire's Fall originally? That's very weird. I feel like I could, I would have done that. Action and superhero, great. Uh, okay, that's what I already knew. Um, let's research. Ooh, let's research. Quickly. Uh, okay, cool. 
I don't have to pay anything for that. The mystery, research. And after that, let's go through the game history so far, what we have. First game, 5.5 .5 boot camp, simulation, and military. Last ride, West Wild West, and RPG 6.75. Empire's Fall, the original, 5.75. Yeah. Infinite Abyss, The Flop, 1.75. Empire's Fall Rebirth, The Second Flop, 2.75. So we've dropped something fierce. New research, casual games. <sighs> we need something. Something, something, something that'd be great. Recent Market data shows that the Galvador 64 seems to be slowly losing market against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, uh, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher price computers to compete against newer and more advanced computers. Okay. Hopefully, we don't go bankrupt. So, we're about to get a mystery. I'm going to go ahead and check to see what else we can get with the topic. Fantasy! Yes, we're going to so do that. Fantasy RPG would be great. So, I think we have less than a year to get this done. So, I'm hoping this will give us enough. Okay. Topic? Fantasy. RPG. Platform? Yes. We're gonna call this Barry. Forty thousand. Okay. So forty thousand. We're in the native again. <gasps> okay, man. Uh, today, Nintendo has announced they will introduce a portable gaming device called Game Link. The device comes with a chargeable, changeable game cartridges and a microchrome screen on a green background. Built in speakers and even multi layer via uh, multiplayer support via connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game link is underpowered, but given the lower cost and actual portability, we might find a huge following. The game link is said to hit shows next month. One. Engine apparently is not very important for RPGs. See. Oh, hello. I'm going up on, well, at least research. Dialogues. Put down there. I don't think like the artificial intelligence is very important. It's an RPG. We shall see that. We shall see. I like how we're, we're building up this line. Sound is not very important. And those are two are very important. Oh my god. Look at that. We're gonna go on the world again. Okay. I need to release this game now. Okay, we got a record for design. Okay, release this game. Okay, the game lane was released today. First game reviews are in. Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. Nine! Nine! A ten! A ten! This could be the game. This is the game that picks some apps for us. And ten must have awesome. Ten. Oh my god. He almost has full tens. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Boom. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's easily done. That's easily done. Okay. Payroll has achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. Milestone is awesome for us. Look at that shit! Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! Payroll has achieved a company sales record with 100,000 units. And look, we're gonna make a million dollars in no time. Fantasy RPG is an epically awesome. Congratulations, you made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. You know what? <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Since I have 1.5 million, not 1.3, um, might as well upgrade to a new office. 
Um, but we'll do the new office. Now that we have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world class developer team to make better games. Let's see. Let's generate a game report. Look at the world. I can't believe that we're in the freaking debt. And then out of nowhere, boom, this one thing hits because we get fancy. And boom. It was ranked number eight. I think. Hopefully, at least that's like four months in. According to our market sale research, recently published game very well as a surprise to players. But no, the billable, the billable, the billable, oh, you, I don't know how to say it. The developer, RAOC, is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot agree to see the developments. It fails on that thing. It is epic. It is definitely, definitely, okay. Uh, game, uh, post-game analysis. Uh, fantasy and RPG is a great combination of world design and not to be there. Okay, we are going to go ahead and, actually, we're going to go ahead and train ourselves. Train. Staff management. And then we're going to create our very own, after researching a few things, we're going to create our very own first game. Okay, cool. They just took negative 93,000 out of our account. Hey, no. Okay, with a growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their game games. New research. Marketing. Okay, we have officially trained. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to put up this in a minute. So we're going to... Oh, okay, yeah. That's right, I forgot. Okay. Very well was now off the market. It sold 336,000 units, generating over $2.3 million. Okay, research. Research. Game tutorials. Research. Um, let's go ahead and do 40, let's do 50,000. Um, let's put it up. And I'll get him in quick. And then we'll go in. Okay. That's not bad. Because both we need experience. And. I need. You know what? We're going to do it here. Some good. Uh, medium games. You. We're going to train you. With bats. Okay. Um. Isaiah, this is a reminder that you were required to pay back the agreed amount on three months time. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and research a little thing. Um, um, sounds. Vina, creator of the Master V Council, has announced the Vina Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game when from the Nintendo. Spokesman of the, for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, the game lag, which doesn't come to close to gaming consoles, the Vina Gear has basically the full power of the Master Chief, except for you can take it with you. The Vina Gear has a full color screen. With this device, top of the game room, you will see the Vina Gear will give you two months. Okay, look at my stress bar. I'm going to hell. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to make you research something real quick. You research topic. City. You know what? You research. No, we're not going to do this. I'm going to create a game engine with everything in it. Yes. No! No! Damn it! Game Engine 1. Today, the new game uh, platform, Vina Gear by Vina, has been released. I am very annoyed. Very, very annoyed. I didn't even want that. I did not want that to be called Game. The Game Engine, Game Engine number 1, is now complete. 
and that's awesome. Um, okay, they put the amount of hundred and fifty six thousand on my account, so I have one point four million. So we're gonna go ahead and end the episode there. This episode turned out a lot different than we thought it would be. Um, we almost went bankrupt several times uh, because of two pieces of crap and shadow just lost the game. And then out of nowhere, we got another topic research and boom. It blew it out of the water and we ended up getting a great game out of it called Fairy World. Now, hopefully I can keep the momentum up and hopefully I just go up, up, and up. But of course, I make dumb decisions. As you see, I didn't name the game engine because game engine number one. Do you understand? Game engine number one. Okay, guys. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and follow me, Big J Sane, on YouTube, and follow Random Acts of Conversation on randomax18.tumblr.com at Tumblr. And until then, you know what? No pie. No pie today. I don't deserve pie. Not after all this shit. After going bankrupt, turning to go bankrupt a couple of times, yeah, I don't deserve pie. Bye.